and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and having a nice week. If you can't already tell by the title of the video, today's video is going to be a massive Shein haul. Um, Shein have very kindly gifted me this massive box of clothes. Like, I don't even know if you can see the whole box. Um, so yeah, they very kindly gifted me a huge box of clothes, um, which is very kind of them, and I thought I would show you guys. Um, I will of course leave all of the links down below if anything takes your fancy, um, and as well as that I of course also have a discount code for you guys which I will leave on the screen now. It is literally just 15 Han and that will get you 15% off your order. But yeah, without further ado I'm going to get straight on into the video. I'm going to try and make this bit as quick as possible because there is so much stuff. Um, and it's also going to be a try on haul so there so I will talk about the clothes more in like the try on clips than I will now um, but yeah before we get started please do make sure that you subscribe um, and stick around for future videos um, and yeah let's get straight on okay so I'm literally just going to dive straight in um, I haven't actually it's so big it's going to take up so much space um, I haven't actually looked at all of the stuff um, just yet so this is kind of like a first impressions I've opened a couple of the bits um, already but yeah, also I've never actually tried Shein before, so I actually have, can we rip this off? <laughs> this is, this is going to be so difficult. I don't really know how to do this. Should we pop it there? Okay, I'm really sorry if you can see it in the background, but it's going to have to stay there. But yeah, like I was saying, I've never actually shopped with Shein before. I've always looked on their website and stuff. Um, but I've never actually shopped there, so this is kind of like a first impressions for me as well, which is very exciting. Um, and yeah, I've got the box behind me, so I'm kind of just going to like dive in and show you guys what is in there. I try to get like a mixture of things, so there's like shoes, jeans, coats, there is literally like a whole lot of wardrobe for me here basically. Um, so yeah, going to stop rambling and try and do this quickly. Okay, so the first thing, if you guys don't already know, I'm a runner. Um, as if I don't mention it enough. Um, so I wanted to pick up some of their sportswear. The sportswear is one of those things where it can be really see-through or like really good quality and I was interested to see um, how good their sportswear was because it's not actually too badly priced. Like I'm pretty sure this full set was about £15. Um, I will leave all of the prices and everything either on the screen or down below as well because I can't remember them all. Um, however, it's this really lovely like corally baby pink type um, sports bra with matching um, sports shorts. Now, as a runner, I don't tend to run in tight shorts because I feel a bit too like restricted, which I know sounds really weird, but I normally just run in like the Nike run shorts, which are slightly baggier. So I will be interested to see how these feel when I run and whether they're comfy or not. They also look really thick and like good quality, like they don't look see-through at all, which is what we like, what we like to see. But yeah, that's the first thing, it's just like a coral matching sports set, although it is getting a bit colder at the moment, so I don't actually know how much wear I'm going to get out of that just yet. Um, but it'll be nice when it gets warmer next year. Item number two. Oh, I know what this is. So here is the sports set and I love it like I literally love it it fits so perfectly and it's so flattering I was kind of worried about these shorts because I just I can't figure out if they look good on me or not but I've come to the conclusion that I love them they're really really comfy and I did actually run in these yesterday and I can confirm that they were comfy to run in they didn't like rise up or anything and yet they fit perfectly like literally no faults at all very impressed because for the price this really wasn't that expensive at all normally for like if you're looking at places like Gymshark or Nike um, a set like this would cost you like at least 60 quid um, for like top and bottom and I'm pretty sure I got top and bottom for about 15 so yeah very impressed with this absolutely love it obviously I'm not going to be going running in it anytime soon um, as it's quite cold outside however as soon as like spring is here I will be cracking this out this is actually pretty boring but kind of like basic <laughs> like a basic staple um, it's just this black padded shoulder um, like vesty type t-shirt I've seen these around quite a lot at the moment like padded um, t-shirts and I just really like the way that they look it's nice to add a bit of structure to the top this does look quite big I did get it in an extra small but it still looks a bit big um, but which you'll see but I just thought this would look really cute like just tucked into skirts so this is the padded um, vest t-shirt type thing um, as you can see it's sort of like I don't know can you see it it's literally just a vest with a bit more structure to it um, and I've just paired it with the white jeans I feel so cool in this outfit um, but yeah not much to say about it just a plain basic black top um, and like I said in the video I just really think that the um, padded sleeves like add a bit of something to it size small I think I said 
or extra small can't quite remember but it's oversized anyway so I've just tucked it into these jeans you could wear it out of jeans I would probably style it with leather leggings as well I think that would be quite cool um, but I will probably style it with these jeans because I look, I look like such an art student in this outfit and I'm here for it I love it <laughs> oh so I'm really excited for these so I have wanted a pair of white jeans for the longest time um, and I really struggle with jeans like fitting it's got such a small like waist so it's always a struggle to find jeans so I'll be interested to see if these fit I got these again in a smaller size I think they were I think the smallest size is literally just a small they don't really do extra small um however they're these white mom jeans I think they're a mom cut they're either mom or they're straight leg jeans um and they just got rips down them and I actually feel like they're quite good quality um again these really weren't that expensive at all but I have a really cool idea in my head of how I want to style these um with like Doc Martens and stuff in the winter they do look a little bit wide for my legs, so I'll be interested to see whether they're really baggy or not. Um, but yeah, just a pair of white jeans, which which I'm very excited for. I hope they're not see-through because one of the things with white jeans I get so paranoid about is if they're going to be see-through or not. But these actually look like pretty good quality um, for what I paid for them, which is really good. So Shein has come through with the jeans. These are the white jeans and I am fully obsessed. So I was a bit skeptical because I only ever buy the same sorts of jeans, either the, either River Island Molly's or the Topshop Jamie's. I have never strayed from them basically. Um, and when I saw these for 15 pounds, I was like, right, let's try them. Let's see what the fit's like. Let's see if they're like worth it. And I love them. They fit so nicely. I have had to put a belt around it, but are we surprised? Um, but yeah, they are the nicest jeans. They're not too baggy. They're just a straight leg basic jean. Um, and yeah, I feel like they're proper like arty and I've wanted a pair of white jeans for the longest time. Um, and these are perfect. Yes, yeah, so they've just got like rips on them as well. And they're just really nice. They've got pockets, which I like because sometimes on like female jeans, um, for some reason they don't put pockets on because they think that we don't need them um but yeah these have pockets which is great overall really good pair of jeans definitely worth it glad i picked them up they'll be getting a lot of use so then i also picked up a dress to see what the dress would be like um this looks like it's going to majorly need an iron so you're going to have to like excuse the fact that it's very creased and um, i actually wore this at the weekend with my boyfriend um, to go out for dinner and i really really loved it um, however, I did just stuff it back in the bag, which is why it's so creased. <laughs> so it's this like grey, stony type coloured shirt dress. It's really hard to show you when it's like so creased and not ironed. Um, but yeah, I really love the colour of this. Um, I just paired it with a pair of like black heeled boots. Um, it's also got like a belt on the middle to sort of like cinch it in. Um, I will promise, I promise to iron this before I try it on because it is so crinkled. I feel like you can't get the full effect. Um, but it's, it was a really comfy dress and it was really bloke friendly which I love because we went out for dinner and you couldn't even tell that I'd had dinner so that's what we like. So then this is the dress. I'm really sorry I didn't iron it so it's very crinkled. Um, but yeah, I really like this dress. I think it's such a flattering dress because although it's like a shirt dress it like cinches in at the waist which is really nice. Just this really nice grey colour. The length is really nice as well and I just think with a pair of like heeled boots this is perfect to just like chuck on for a dinner or something. I promise it looks so much better when I've ironed it. Um, but yeah, really like this dress. Wore it out to dinner the other day um, and I thought it was very nice. So I picked up a few skirts because one of my favourite outfits in like autumn winter is like skirts, chunky boots, Doc Martens um, and like an oversized coat. So the first skirt that I picked up was just this houndstooth um, like straight A-line skirt. It's got like a slit I think. Has it got a slit? Fairly certain it does. Yeah. It's just got like a little tiny slit here. At the side, again, I got this in an extra small, however, it does look like it's going to be big around my waist. Um, that, I feel like that's the one thing that I do struggle with is sizing when it's like extra small, small, medium, large. Like I need the like 6, 8, 10 type sizing because I find they fit better. Um, but yeah, this is the first one. I really love Houndstooth. It's very in this autumn, um, so I'm excited to style this with like a big chunky cardigan and like some Doc Martens and stuff. Um, and a pair of tights because I always get very cold. So this is by far my favourite skirt. I just love the print of it. Again, slightly too big, but I think that's just going to be a recurring thing with the skirts. It's a recurring thing with any skirt that I buy. Um, but yeah, so you can see like the little checkered print on it, which is really nice. Um, I think I said houndstooth in the previous clip. It's not houndstooth, it's checkered. Um, but yeah, this fits really nicely. Again, a really nice length of the little slit here. Um, and I just think this is going to look so nice in the um, like autumn winter months with tights and chunky boots. 
Um, but yeah, definitely my favourite skirt. It does fit the best out of all three, which is nice. Again, I probably wouldn't wear it with a top like this. I was just wearing this top and it was easy to like chuck stuff on with it. Um, but yeah, really like this skirt, really cute print and it's going to be so easy to style because it's black and white so you can pretty much put like any other colour with it. And then, oh okay. So I remember picking this up. So I have a thing about cardigans this year. Um, I already have about four that I've bought, which is a little bit excessive. Um, however, I picked up this black um, ribbed balloon sleeve cardigan, um, which just has like a few buttons down the front. I think it's quite a cropped cardigan. I thought like outfit wise, this would look really cute with a houndstooth skirt, like just tucked in. I thought it'd be quite a cute look. It doesn't, it isn't very thick. It's more of like a, t-shirty type material like it's not a cardigan that's going to keep you warm basically um again i got this in a size extra small um and yeah i really like the sleeves on this i have a thing for balloon sleeves i don't know why um a lot of my jumpers have them um but yeah not much to say about it just a black cardigan which i'm sure will go with a lot of things over winter so this might just be my favorite outfit for the whole of autumn i literally love it so this is just the black cardigan and i've just chucked it on with the black skirt um but yeah so this is the black balloon sleeved i say cardigan i think it's called a t like a t-shirt because it's not actually like really thick material but yeah i literally love this outfit i wore it the other day with a pair of like chunky boots and i got so many compliments um but yeah definitely one of my go-to outfits this autumn it just has this really nice like balloon sleeve type detailing which is really cute and just a plain black cardigan i feel like it's an essential for like everyone's wardrobe um and i really like this one i will be getting a lot of wear out of it and then skirt number two i'm very excited for this it's just this corduroy beautifully um so it's just this corduroy skirt in like a beautiful forest green um i have steered clear of corduroy that is a mouthful for the longest time purely because my mum used to dress me in it when I was a child and I hated it like with a passion I hated corduroy I'm pretty sure I had a pair of like I want to say brown corduroy jeans and it just wasn't a look um however when I saw this I thought it looked really cute and could look really nice with a pair of like knee-high boots um and it's such a beautiful colour I don't actually own anything in this colour um so I'm excited to style that and have a bit of and have a bit of fun with that but yeah just a really basic a-line corduroy skirt um again it's that color that you compare tight black tights with and it'll still look really good but here we have the green like corduroy mini skirt the camera really isn't picking it up but you can kind of get the feel for it again this is slightly too big um it doesn't have belt loops this one however i can literally just put like a little tuck in the side it's actually not as big as the black one um, I just have a small waist, <laughs> it's nothing to do with Shein, um, but yeah, I really like this, I wouldn't wear it with white I don't think, but I think it would look really nice with like a chunky black cardigan, maybe even the one that was in this haul, um, or like a big chunky knit and a pair of knee high boots or something, even with tights and whatever, but yeah, really like this skirt, oh my god, and it's got pockets, I thought these were just like those fake pockets, but it's actually got real ones, which is great, I love a skirt with pockets, um, but yeah, really like this, really gorgeous colour and I think it's going to look so nice in the winter. And then I also picked up a bodysuit. Like I say, I tried to get things that would give me like an all-rounded opinion on Shein because obviously I've never shopped there before. Um, so I also picked up one bodysuit. Now, again, I got this in a size extra small and it does look quite big. <laughs> See, my issue with bodysuits is that I literally have no boobs so I really struggle with like the top half of them and this looks like it's gonna swamp me um however we shall see what it's like in the try on clip but it's just this really nice black bodysuit with like a heart print on it um yeah just got really small like hearts down it and I think it's like I don't know how the front I think it's maybe a v-neck type bodysuit um, and it's also got like a puff sleeve my idea with this was to tuck it into the green corduroy skirt i thought that'd be a really cute outfit but yeah i really hope this fits so we'll see what that's like this is the heart print um it's actually a top not a bodysuit if you kind of see the detailing on it here but it actually fits really nicely i know i said in the previous clip that i was worried it was going to be too big on me but like around the chest area but it actually fits perfectly it's a tiny bit gapey but i always expect that with tops um and it's just got like a really nice puff sleeve if you can see that there as well um and yeah it's just a really cute print i've just chucked it on with a black skirt because i thought this would be a nice cute winter outfit um and yeah not much to say about it pretty basic and i feel like it'll go with a lot and i'll get a lot of wear out of it um i actually don't often wear all black outfits but i kind of like this one so and then the final skirt that i picked up was this black, oh, spare button, was this black 
denim-y type um, skirt with like contrast stitching. Um, this is actually my favourite skirt that I picked up. Again, this waist looks a little bit smaller than the other ones, so hopefully this might fit a bit better. It's in the same size. Um, but yeah, just this black skirt with like contrast white stitching down it. I actually needed a new denim skirt because, or a new black denim skirt because I got rid of my old one because um, as I just didn't really like it. So yeah, I'm excited to try this on. It's not actually denim. I feel like it's more of a, I don't want to say suede, but it's got like that suede type of feel to it. Um, but yeah, just a basic black denim skirt, staple for every girl's wardrobe basically. Okay, so this is the skirt, which is really nice. I don't know if you can see, so you can kind of see the detailing there and it's got pockets. The only thing is, is that, can you? So the only thing is, is that it's like, quite big on me but it does have belt loops so I'm not too concerned about that because I'm sure if I literally just chuck a belt around it um that will sort that out but yeah I really like this it's got pockets here and as you can see it's got like the really cute or the really nice like white detailed stitching which I thought was really nice yeah everywhere else it fits really nice like it's a really good length and everything so it's just the waist um but like I say chuck a belt around that and it'll be fine so those are the clothing type bits that I picked up I also then picked up two pairs of boots and two coats um, so I will quickly go on to the boots because they're still in here. So boots number one, I'm obsessed with these. I, well, I have a, I have an obsession with boots anyway. Like I have a ridiculous amount of boots. It's actually a problem at this point. Um, I don't even want to think about the amount of money I've spent on them. However, these might just be like one of my new favourites. When I'm not wearing like Doc Martens, I'm always wearing like heeled boots um, and stuff like that. And I don't actually have a pair of pink heeled boots. So I picked them up and it and I'm literally obsessed with these. So they're just pink suede heeled boots. It's got quite a big heel um, and they're just pointed. They're really nice. They feel like really good quality. Um, but I'm very excited to wear these and style these. My friend at Soph actually has a pair of like pink suede boots and whenever she wears them, I'm like, oh my God, I love them so much. Um, and now I finally have a pair. So I'm very excited to wear these. And I thought these would also look really cute with the white jeans um, as well. Um, but yeah, they're that sort of colour that will kind of like go with anything. The pink and the green skirt might go really well together. Um, but yeah, very excited to wear these. Such a lovely shape as well. I love pointed boots. Um, and yeah. And then the second pair of boots that I picked up, if I can get the box out, come in this massive box here. <laughs> So I've been after a pair of like knee high boots that fit and stay up for the longest time because I have a pair from I think they're new look um, and they're like a suede material but no matter how tight I tie them they just fall down like they don't stay up on my legs. So I picked up these bad boys which I'm so excited for. So they're just these knee high croc, say croc it makes it sound like a croc shoe, crocodile type um, leather knee high boots basically. I'm so excited to wear these. I hope they fit because my worry is that there's no zip and it's quite a long boot to get your leg into without a zip. Like normally there's a little zip here. So we're gonna have to see how that works. But I'm so excited to wear these. I thought this with the like with the green skirt and the um black bodysuit would look so cool together, such a cute outfit. Um so yeah, I picked up these. I got these in a size five and I feel like maybe I should have got them in a I should have got them in a six, I'm not sure. I'm a size five, like for sure, but they just look a little bit small. Um, so I hope, I really do hope these fit because they're so nice and I think they're gonna look so cool over winter. Um, and where they're like a proper leather boot material, they're not gonna fall down, obviously, because look. Um, but yeah, very excited to wear these. Fingers crossed they fit because if they don't, sad times. <laughs> Those are the two boots that I picked up from them as well. Next we will move on to coats. So I've actually already worn this coat because this is one of the things I was most excited about. Um, and it's this really nice leather shacket. Is it a shacket? I think it's a shacket. Um, like nude leather shacket. I am obsessed. I wore this the other day because I've got a pair of like boots which are leather and the exact same colour and I felt so coordinated. Um, but yeah it's really hard to like hold up and show you but it's just this really nice leather type shacket. Um, and yeah, again, it's a colour that you can literally just chuck on with anything over winter. Um, and I thought it was so cool. I don't actually own a leather jacket. I feel like it's such a wardrobe staple and I just don't have one. Um, but now I do. Okay, so I'm literally so impressed with everything so far anyway. But look at this coat. Sorry? I'm literally obsessed. Um, so yeah, just this really nice basic leather shacket. I've come to the conclusion that it is a shacket. Um, 
like a shirt slash jacket um, and yeah it's this really lovely nude stony type colour again I've just got it on with the jeans combo and I think it looks really cool again a little bit oversized but I like that because it means I can put a big chunky jumper underneath um, I actually wore this with leather leggings and a pair of um, like chunky leather boots the other day which matched this coat and it looked so good um, but yeah it's really good quality um, and it feels like waterproofy kind of material obviously because it's leather um, but yeah very good quality just does up the front um, and yeah not much to say about it but I love it it's like a basic but a good basic I've got nothing like this in my wardrobe so I'm very excited to style it um, and I just think it looks so cool I love it and then the final coat that I got sorry if I've like moved I had to go and get it off my wardrobe door um, I haven't worn this out yet but I did just hang it up um, and it's this really lovely long line teddy bear coat now I have a bit of a love affair with teddy bear coats I just love them um, and they're so perfect for like winter I get very very cold very quickly um, so when it comes to coats I can't be wearing any of the like crappy flimsy stuff like I need thick coats uh, which is why I picked this up I actually already have a cream teddy bear coat which is slightly shorter but this is just like a bit longer um, and in a different colour I don't actually have one in this colour um, so yeah I'm very excited to wear this it feels so thick and snuggly which I love I just, and I just thought it would look really cute with like with like black jeans and a pair of Doc Martens it's like a really quick throw on uni outfits keep me warm in the winter because I'm all about practicality in winter although it may not seem it by the stuff that I picked up I am <laughs> um, so yeah that was the last coat I picked up so this coat this coat I literally love it so it's a bit oversized but it is meant to be oversized but I feel like it doesn't swamp me it's like a nice kind of oversized I just have an obsession with teddy bear jackets I love it I knew I was gonna love it um, and it's just this really lovely brown colour I literally like a teddy bear um, and it kind of feels like a dressing gown and anyone who knows me will know that I spend an embarrassing amount of time in my dressing gown so if I can wear one if I can wear something that is like my dressing gown outside and socially acceptable I'm gonna do it <laughs> um, but yeah this is the brown teddy bear coat I love it definitely like big enough that you can put a big jumper underneath it which I like because sometimes um, because sometimes coats are like not big enough for that um but yeah very true to size and for the price you can't go wrong like it looks so cool it's so warm and snuggly and so reasonable so i think that is everything oh also this jumper i also picked up from shein so it's literally just a plain white jumper um with like ruffles on the sleeves i just thought the ruffles make a really cute little extra detail this is the white jumper really you know just a basic white jumper but i really like the ruffles i just thought it added a bit of something extra to it but this would be really easy to just chuck on in the winter with like a pair of jeans um and boots and you're like good to go in a big coat um but yeah not much to say just a basic white jumper um and yeah and it's not see-through which is really good i was worried that it was going to be see-through but it's not so yeah that is everything that i picked up i feel like i've done like a well-rounded kind of cool bit of everything thrown in there and actually my first impressions of Shein is that I really like it um it's really good quality for the price um there's a whole range of things like you could have a field day on their website like there there is so much stuff um I struggled to just pick out the bits <laughs> that I have um I could have gone wild but yeah thank you very much to Shein for very kindly gifting me these bits um there will be like outfits with these on my Instagram as well so do make sure you go and follow me over there for like daily outfit inspiration um, and yeah, remember if you guys do want anything, I will leave all of the links down below along with the prices and I will also leave my code for you guys um, to use if you wanted to get some money off. Uh, it's just 15 hand for 15% off. And yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed filming it. Hauls are one of my favourite videos to film. I'm saying that as if I filmed clothes. This is my first haul, but I love clothes, so it was great fun. Um, and yeah, I hope you have enjoyed it too. If you have, please do give it a big thumbs up. Um, I'm hoping to do like a few more of these and like more styling videos um, in the next few weeks. It's just so hard to film them on my own in my tiny little uni flat. Um, like filming styling videos is a challenge. It's like a workout as well where my room is so small. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, hope you have enjoyed this video. Please do give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss so, uh, so you don't miss any future uploads. And I will see you all in my next video.